need you to clap your hands wherever you are. If you know that you're a conqueror, I want you to say this with Back me. Guys, I am. I'm in the mirror of the reflection show, and we took a short minute break. Why? Because we wanted to be behind the scenes engaging with all these beautiful people at this wonderful event, Jazz on the Green, appreciating teachers and military. But I'm excited to have this individual because I spoke to him a month and a half ago. His voice was electrifying. His wisdom is just amazing. And I sat with him when the first minute I flew into Baltimore. Gray! <laughs> my no. man! Uh, you have to tell my man! My man! My man! Uh, Greg, how you doing, I'm man? I'm great, Ramsey. How you doing? Man, look. Bless and highly favored. No, I'm blessed because you here. Oh, man, I appreciate I that. Mean, I likewise. You got a lot of goodies in your backpack. I mean, your heart, your mind, your respect, your, your integrity. Tell me, who is this Greg I'm sitting in front of? Wow. Wow. That's a, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is, I think about my parents. Mm. Okay? I think about my parents. Yeah. Mom and Dad have been married 63 years, and, um, and so when you ask me that question, you know, by them raising me, the three things, the three pillars that they raise us on right. is respect the higher power and have a relationship with God. Mm. Second thing is family and then love. Right. So that's the person you're sitting across, the person that they endeavored that inside of me yeah. and gave me that formula yeah. that I've taken through the rest of my life that, that it put me in positions that I had no idea I was going to be in. And even with that gift, even with those morals and principles, how does today event gives you such how does today event affect you in a way what, what what does it do to you in this moment to be here and to appreciate teachers and military uh, um, military uh, uh, soldiers and stuff you know it, the first thing why you when you mentioned that to me you and I we touched base on a couple of days ago right teachers military come on I mean they're the root and we talking about with our kids, we talking about with our country. Right. It's all tied in together with them too that we're 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 not putting them that setting them as a priority like they should be. Wow. You follow that's me? That's powerful. Yeah, so when you say ask me that, that's the first thing I think about is yeah. they they gotta be in position and gotta be um, respected on yeah. the level that they deserve every day, not every like when we need them no 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 right. every day because they're the one that is making really pouring uh, into the community absolutely they're the one to pour into the community and because we know we go into the, the community and, and go back out right. they always there yeah you follow me they're, all, they're, they're in the trenches they're in the trenches all the time they're, they're, they're doing the hard work they're dealing with the cuts the bruises everything what in the person like you that's been in the trenches that dealt with the cuts and bruises. I mean, with this compassion that you have for just life in general, what draws you to better yourself every day as Greg? Hmm. And that it, because it's, it's, it, I've been doing it for so long, it's inside of me that every day I gotta get better. I have to, <laughs> I have to. Whether if I'm going to the gym working out, whether right. if I'm going to a meeting, whether if I'm going to, you know, to fellowship, it does, right. I gotta get better. And that is, you gotta, you gotta become a better you every day, some type of way. It ain't gonna be you gonna get better at everything every day. Yeah. But if your focus is to get better, yeah. you will get better at something each and every day. And getting better, there's a process that you went through in life. Um, you know, we talked about your history. Mm -hmm. The first African American mm -hmm. bobsled. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is powerful. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your history, Greg. And how how have that changed you today in this moment? <laughs> wow. So when you say that, you know, sports, it teach you determination, integrity, hard work, all these things, right? Sports is the game of life. It's the game of life. But and you and when you when you look at the sports, I don't care what level you go go to, right. it still comes back to you on what I just mentioned. Are you gonna stop right there where you ended up where yeah. you put you your that you your 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 career ended no yeah. or you can continue on getting better so for me for the olympics mm -hmm. i remember tra you know training them four years yeah and like i tell everyone i say train four years for two minutes and 36 seconds and it was four over. years four years for two minutes and 36 seconds and 36 seconds, seconds. and it's over but 
I would do it over and over because it's about the journey mm. and the process of what I learned in that process. They causing me to sit here across from you and say, you yeah. know what? Every day I got to get better because I already been to that moment right. of saying, okay, what I'm going to do better tomorrow to get better towards walking in an open ceremony? What I'm going to get better tomorrow towards winning that gold medal? All them things, right? Which is sports. Right. But now it's the game of life <laughs> and it's embedded in me. I and like it's the that. same thing. It's the game of life that game is of... embedded in you. Absolutely. You saw greatness within yourself. Absolutely. You Early. knew you would be greater in all the things that you saw yourself in, in doing. Because once you get a taste of it, Ramsey, yeah. I want it more. You want like more. Like Pac-Man. I you want more. Hungry. I want more. <laughs> <laughs> my man. More, 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 more. So that's 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 how I live my life yeah. is wanting more, yeah. wanting to be better, yeah. and then see how I can help the next person. But tell me, Greg, you failed before. You and I, we see mm. you. We're not perfect. Mm. Person who's watching, just, they're not perfect. They failed. How did you overcome your failures? Mm. Mm. Wow. Because I'm thinking at the moment. Of the time that's fine because guess that what? I fail. This is the reflection right. show. And Reflect. Right. Absolutely, and that's what I'm doing. Oh wow. So I remember I remember the, the first time that I had my, my uh, first knee surgery. Mm. So I go from I was in I was um, in high school I only played in two football games. Two. 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 One was winning by three touchdowns, the other one was like forty six seconds left in the game. That's all I played in high school. That was it. Three games. Two games. Two games. Forty-six seconds. And the other one was three. Was winning by three touchdowns. I think you missed it. You trained four years for uh -huh. two minutes oh. and forty-six seconds. Oh wow! You only played what? Two wow. games. Forty-six seconds. Wow! You probably did a gallop. Never thought of it. <laughs> and hey, you know I'm writing a book. You're great. No, I got it. I got it. You better write that for two minutes and forty-six seconds because. <laughs> Wow. But, but listen at this. So, uh -huh. so after high school, uh -huh. I walked on to a junior college, right? Walked to a junior college. Yeah. You know, because mom and dad on Thursday night, I always tell them, I said, Mom, Dad, why y'all coming to the game? Y'all know I'm not going to play. Because North Carolina, we play on Friday night under the lights. Yeah. And you know what they told me? As long as you're on that team, we coming. Wow. And I didn't, I didn't, know, I didn't know how to appreciate that until as I got older. Right. And had, you know, kid, my daughter myself. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing up all the time, no matter what. No matter what. You know what I mean? So so then I went to junior college. And went to junior college and the same guy that was playing in front of me in high school, mm -hmm. he went to the same junior he got a scholarship at the junior college. I walked on. And I said, man, the same he in front of me still. But check this out. The second game of the year, uh -huh. the second game of the first year that I was there, he got hurt. And the coach, Jim Garrison, which, uh, bless his heart, he uh -huh. left us like four years ago. Mm -hmm. He called me, he said, he said, Greg, this is your time. And I didn't know what that meant. Wow. But that year, I finished up with 17 touchdowns. My first year, my second year, I had 17 20. 17 touchdowns. My second year, I had 21 touchdowns. So I, I, I could choose any school in the country to go to. And that's when I chose Maryland. But that defining moment that you're talking about, the failure part, right? Mm -hmm. After that, then I got all these scholarships and stuff. I choose Maryland. I get it, Maryland. I'm all high and on top of everything, you know? Yeah. And then the I'm the man. You're the man. And ESPN, I, you're everything. The man. Then I get there and I get hurt. Mm. I get hurt. No. But you know what? Check this out. So when that... All of the adver adversity and everything was happening from high school to then excitement from junior college, right? Yeah. And everything, and, and like I told you what mom and dad raised us on, right? Them <laughs> three things. Them things, the, I'm just being real with you here now. You asked me the, the part it, of the it, failure. It, it's unscripted. Hey, there you go. You it's did bring story. that to, you brought that to Tell my me knowledge. more of your legacy. So at that time, I, I walked away from the things that meant, that got me there. You know what I mean? Yeah. My relationship and fellowship and close with God wasn't, it was like I was, the sports thing became that for me. Yeah, you be, but you then, be real. But when I got hurt, mm -hmm. it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Wow. Because it brought me back, reeled me back, made me humble, mm. made me see how, hey, huh, you didn't get here on your own. Yeah. <laughs> you got here on some substance. You were favored. And you were favored. And blessed. Absolutely. Grandmama was still uh, praying for absolutely. you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmama was still praying. You know that. So <laughs> Why is you making that Kool-Aid? <laughs> 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 in the bottom of the... <laughs> 
<laughs> you already know, Ramsey. You already know. Yeah. So that's that. I th that's I think about that moment. That 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 moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but when I regrouped, man, you was a bad member, Jimmy. And I didn't look back. They never let that happen. <laughs> They'll never let that happen again, right. because in, in, in life, you learned from that. Absolutely, you picked up from that. Absolutely, and you executed with it. Absolutely, and I think most people don't understand the power of the thing teachers and military people go through. Mm. Their trenches. Mm. Everyone has that story. The things that we don't really appreciate that we should. Right? right. Right. Teachers deal with the fact of going in and providing for these kids. Parents are not showing up to open house. Military has to deal with the psychological things that they're doing. They're saving. They don't know if they're going to make it home to their daughters, their right. son, their families. Mm. Wow. The trenches they deal with, maybe they have two minutes and 46 Success. seconds. Right. that they have to think about how can they impact their community or their life. Mm. But Greg, you're right. your family values has taught you so much. Though you're not in the game. But I'm going to support you until you make it in the game. There you go. Right, right. That's Amen. That's powerful. Um, yeah, absolutely. That's so, what it's about. So even talking about this, the, the game and what you've been through, of course, your body has dealt with a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. um, you and I were talking earlier about this product that you have mm -hmm. with Life Brook. Yeah, Life Brook. Aronia. Aronia Berry. Which is a very interesting berry. Right. Tell me a little bit more about it as we get ready to close the show. Okay. So after I retire from sports. Yes. When I was training them four years for the Olympics, I knew my body needed something else other than water, sleep, and try to eat good on the yeah. high, on the performance level that I was training. Yeah. And so when I retired, I said, you know what? I have to find out what that is. Were that, you depressed in that moment, trying to figure that out? Oh, how, absolutely. How to get back? Absolutely, because mm -hmm. I didn't understand. I didn't know where to go. Because you got off that high. I, exactly. That working out high. Absolutely. Okay. But at the same time, I didn't want to get involved in taking the thing that was going to hinder for me to be on the band sister list for all the hard work I've done. Right. So I didn't take anything. Mm. So after I retired, I started focusing on that for athletes. Right. And I and then that's where um, uh, DNA customer supplement came from that I was part of. Now my Roni Berry was the number one super fruit in the world, yeah. which basically it, yeah. it helps the body to do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Absolutely. Stay young. Stay, Stay young. One. Absolutely. Get, get Absolutely. back on that field. Put that helmet on because you got two minutes, minutes. and 46 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm writing a book. You know the name of it? Two minutes. This, no, no. That's in there. Uh -huh. But you got to listen to this. The name of it is the number one bench warmer. I knew I, I was a bench warmer, wow. but I knew I was number one, Ramsey. Wow. But listen to this. That's in big, big letters. Underneath the small letters is not how you start, it's how you finish. So I went from the number one bench warmer yeah. to becoming, yeah. um, going to a Division One college, yeah. NFL, Olympics, yeah. Hall of Famer in my college. Now, you, so Hall yeah. of Famer. And my the junior one who's tapping me with these fingers. Absolutely. You, a Hall of Famer. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. So, Congratulations. And that's what it's about. Yeah. Absolutely. And I respect that so much about you, you know, and I, I love who you are. I mean, the minute we talked, the minute we met, it was almost like, yo, I knew Greg. I think I played ball with you. I think I was on the left side of the bench with you. And your mom and daddy was like, ain't that Ramsey sitting over there with my son Greg trying to figure out where they're going to get in in this right. quarter? <laughs> Trying to figure out. Right. right. So right. let me ask you this, Greg, as we close out this show. There is somebody that is in their fourth quarter moment. Hmm. And there's two minutes and 44 seconds left. Hmm. You have two seconds to remind them to stay in position because they're getting ready to get in and win. Hmm. What is that two seconds that you would like to say to empower them in this moment? Wow. So, Rams, if what comes to my mind just initially is is you got to have a relationship with God. You have to. You got to be able, you got to have that faith. Yeah. And you can't do it without it. Okay. So that's the first thing. So because you got to shake your head like you did. Like, yeah, you, like you, you got to yeah, do it again. Yeah, you yeah, can't do it. You can't do it. It's, it, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, yeah. it's impossible. Yeah. So that's the first thing. Huh. But then the other thing is, every day and each and every day, yeah. just, just in your mind, yeah. tell yourself, I got to get better today and get closer towards the goals that I set. Yeah. No matter how I'm going to get there, I might got to start early, might got to stay late, but yeah. whatever it takes, yeah. just keep pushing and pushing yeah. and it'll come. And then once you get a taste, you want more of it. 
Right. So it doesn't happen all at once. I didn't wake up one morning, put my feet on the floor, and I was in the Olympics. Didn't happen that way. Right. So you, that's what I will leave with there. You gotta have that relationship with God. You have to. You have to. You have to. The, the, so you'll you'll understand yeah. what failure means. Right. You know, understand what faith means. What it is. Yeah. What it is. And that's powerful. And that is. That's a, that's and, what's about. And, and even talking about, you gotta understand. You gotta know. You're writing a letter to yourself, and you're writing a letter to your daughter. What is it that you want to tell yourself two years from now? And what is it that you want to tell your daughter now as she watches this? Hmm. That you can hold yourself accountable. Wow. First, and that is, just know how much that I love you. Say, say your name. Say your name, because I want you to justify sure. And I want you to be with yourself in okay. that moment. Okay, okay, okay. So, first it is, my name is Greg Harrell, and I'm talking to Courtney Harrell. And that is, just know how much that I love you from day one. And you know I show that through all the years, through ups and down conversation and everything. And never ever forget just the, the, the foundation that you're part of, that we talk about all the time, about family, about having that relationship with God and love. Just keep that in the forefront of your mind and everything else will fall in place. And my grandson, he'll come along and do the same thing because that's what's about. You know what the scripture says, mm -hmm. train a child when he's young in a way so when he get older he won't depart from it. Yeah. So, and that's what we have to do for him also. So keep that in mind and, and daddy love you. And what about yourself, Greg? As you look in the mirror, what would you like to tell yourself? You know the old saying say self? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and, you know, so, and, you know, I know, I know my struggles, I know my, my strengths and everything and and I pray every day that I get better in uh, learning how to cope with them things so I can go out and help more people to be to believe in themselves because that's what's about. Once you believe in yourself, then you'll be able to go and help somebody else and talk to somebody else to be, so they'll believe in themselves. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the future of, like especially with my company that, uh, that can help everybody to change their life to a better health and wellness because if you don't have your health, you have nothing. And that's the first thing that starts with. And once you have that, you'll be able to share to everyone else and you'll you'll know how to continue and exceed it. Well guys, I felt convicted. If you don't have health, you don't have yourself. I've been needing a little too much and I need to work out because I need to get my health on point. And Greg got me feeling convicted today. So Ramsey, get it together. Hey man, that's right. This is Ramsey Rizard, The Reflection Show here with Greg. And remember, your experience matters. Stay tuned. We have more coming your way.